Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Um, I want to do a quick video on um, how to keyframe using the transform tool in Caden Live and specifically how to jump back to the original screen because that's something, it's a specific button um, on the options. So this is a video I just put up on YouTube regarding avoiding um, crashes when you're editing with proxy clips in Caden Live. And for a lot of these videos, I use the transform effect because in certain parts of the video, I want to zoom into certain parts of the screen. So let's say I wanted to do a, a transform and I wanted to zoom into the resource monitor here. Um, I'm gonna just make this a bit bigger so it's easier to see. So I might drop a keyframe here and then I'll keyframe to here. And it's just it, these buttons, I don't really blame Kaden Live for the way they've laid this out, but it's kind of, it's very sometimes hard to like know which one you're hitting. So you just, this is why I make this video, you need to be very precise. So this is delete keyframe, previous keyframe, go to next keyframe, and the add keyframe has vanished because I've just added one right at this point in the video. So I'm gonna zoom up, let's say 150, and I'm gonna zoom into the resource monitor. So if you watch the preview screen, here's what we've achieved with that. A pretty quick zoom into the resource monitor, right? So let's say we wanna hold there for a few seconds and then we wanna zoom back to fill up the screen. So I'm gonna drop a keyframe here, and then I'm gonna do, let's say we wanna do a bit of a slower zoom, so I'm gonna give it a few more seconds, drop a keyframe here. Now this is the entire point of this video. Uh, the one you want, there's a whole bunch of options here for align left, center horizontally, align right, align top, center vertically, align bottom, adjust original size, adjust in center and frame, fit to width, fit to height, fit to height. Now you can do this manually by zeroing off the X and Y, and zooming back to 100%, but there's actually no need to do that. That's why these shortcuts are there. And the one you want is adjust and center in frame. So I've just clicked that and there we go, right? X, zero, Y, zero, size 100. And what that has done to the video, right? We've done our zoom into the resource monitor. And now we're gonna pull out a little bit more slowly. We could have done that more quickly. And we're back here. And one other handy thing to know about this is that you can quickly adjust the positions of the keyframes here. So this should be a quicker f zoom out. So that's, I don't know, I, I think that's something that's useful to know. Hope this video was helpful. Um, and if you want to get more videos from me, please feel free to, to subscribe to this YouTube channel.